What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and today we are on Forza Horizon 4, staring at my S15 Rocket Bunny Vaptasia Forest Wang painted car just chilling there in the snow on the side of the road by one of my other houses that I own up by the city. So today we're going to get into something that I've been wanting to get into for a while here on uh, Horizon 4. But first, I want to uh, touch on a comment here from... Wow. Uh... Do I know you? Dang, dude. <laughs> Just straight up clearing the fence. Give me a nice view of my uh, Vaptasia car. But So that was a little interesting. So back to what we were planning on doing for today. I want to touch base on a comment from a subscriber, the blue 28 saying, Just a quick tip. If you want more realistic alignment forces for your force, you should put force feedback understeer to 100. This setting controls mechanical caster tail alignment torque and it is actually inverted from what the description says so lowering to zero removes some of the physics uh, accurate aligning forces that are important for drifting so huge thank you to this man who is actually a part of uh, a Forza driving like Forza hardcore driving group that I actually got invited to thank you to uh, big shout out to cruise driving for the invite um, on one of my videos inviting me into that group so big thank you to them they are a big hardcore um sim racing you know sim steering sim racing gas brake clutch h pattern shifters no assists cockpit and cockpit view no hood like hardcore hardcore racers definitely a uh, big thank you to you guys for letting me into your group and uh looking forward excited to getting to either slide or race with a couple of you guys here in the near future so we are going to go change up some settings for today because we are going to uh, take this man's advice and, uh, you know, see if we can't get sideways with uh, some different settings. So we are going to look at our settings here. We're going to go to our difficulty settings. If you've noticed difficulty settings, we are on sim steering. So we have no assists. We are manual with clutch. I am running my sequential gearbox, but that doesn't mean I cannot shift without my clutch i still use my clutch i just use the sequential box as almost like a dog box so quick reference on gear ratios um that because also i can run seven gears on cars that are seven speeds because the logic shifter doesn't give me the ability to be seven speeds so we are on some steering we have no assists no traction control no stability no abs so we are running absolutely full sim no assists and we did take this man's advice and go down here to the uh, force fat feedback understeer. And we did change that to 100. I'm going to put my force feedback up to 50. Uh, so we are going to be rocking these settings for today. So uh, we're going to have to get the wheel cam turned on. And uh, we're going to get into this and uh, take this Vaptasia S15 for a rip. All right, so we are on our Logitech G920 with our Energy Innovations 350 millimeter wheel. Hydraulic can break, custom NRG handle and our sequential gearbox which I already explained on why so uh well sim steering adjusted force feedback understeer settings and uh see if we can't rip this this is a fully built s15 um full horsepower on a stock motor so we're pretty much just going to come into the city and uh well uh have a little fun do a little uh city drifting which is one thing I haven't really done much of yet so definitely uh so I'd see how this wheel feels. The handbrake this in. And that feels uh, quite well. The snapback is something I do have to get used to because of uh, not used to so much snapback, but the wheel does feel pretty good. Definitely just have to make sure we're uh, quick on our uh, response. But uh, I think this, you know, a big thank you to this guy for uh, throwing me the comment about the force feedback because. You know, it definitely uh, is nice to get some uh, feedback from some uh, subscribers and definitely some other hardcore sim drivers. So big thank you to you. Big thank you to the uh, Forza Hardcore group for allowing me into their group. And uh, this car handles pretty well, actually. And uh, these settings, this guy's definitely got a point. That was a really long e-brake grab. But, uh, yeah, we give it a try. So... We got a lot of other people here right now in the city, so uh, people just cruising. <laughs> I 
it's kind of cool to see other drive guitars and not drivers, but other drivers in the game. One big thing that I like here on Forza Motorsport 7 is the drive guitars, but on Forza Horizon 4, I like the fact that we have the ability to have everybody else in the game. Yeah, they're ghosted unless they're in the convoy, but you know, it is definitely uh, fun to see other drivers because they do interact with you, and I just kind of just wrecked hardcore into that. So, these settings are something I'm definitely going to have to probably get a little bit used to because they are a little bit different than what I've been running before. But I feel like just uh, playing around with the settings and uh, or playing around with the car a little bit will be something I'll be able to get used to really quickly. It doesn't help that we are in the atrocious winter season, but I feel like it doesn't make a difference here on the cobblestone, although it might. But as soon as you touch snow, as you know, it just likes to go around. So these settings are definitely not for the faint of heart. Uh, these, uh, if you're if you're big into sim driving and sim racing, these settings are definitely where you want to be because this does feel very very accurate to close to a real car. Now it, there's a lot more hand movement involved with these settings due to the fact of uh, you have that quick snapback once you get off power. As soon as you grip with the rear, the front's going to snap back the way your wheels are pointed. So you do have that, you have to be ready for it, but if you do do drifting in real life, or if you're a sim driver, it's something you'll be used to. Um, definitely something I'm still getting used to in this game, because my audio decides to cut out for a quick. It's definitely something I'm getting used to in this game, because I have not really played a Horizon that much with these settings, so it's definitely a new experience for me but it's definitely a good experience and a fun experience definitely gonna be rocking these settings for a while gonna do some racing with it and just have a little fun and you know do something out of my element to make this game a little bit different man if that guy wasn't in my way that would have been perfect we are definitely ripping this vape tasia s15 a little bit too much on the brakes for that that came made me come to basically a complete uh, a complete snap back stop so these settings are definitely very good now um, like I said it's definitely not for the faint of heart if you are um, you know in not into full sim racing I mean if you're running a sim rig you probably do like the real feel of it so, um, I will switch it back to normal steering for to see how it feels, just for the sake of people that uh, run normal steering. But I think we're gonna immerse ourselves in almost the full uh, full sim aspect right now here. A little first person. I was gonna go that way, but then I realized uh, I did. That's not the way I wanted to go. And this is not the way I want to go either. So I'm trying to f remember which way I want to go because there's some really cool sections in the city but uh i think we're just kind of freestyling a little bit in the city Ooh, if you notice there was that change of pitch in the tires it's because we must have hit some snow so now we are just getting some uh full sim sliding going on here in the city oh 10 there i gripped up my tires uh was in the wrong gear we are discovering roads though as we do this, so this is definitely a, not just a sliding around, we're actually discovering roads too. So I know people probably like, you're drifting is crap right now, but these settings are not for the faint of heart. It's not for, you know, the average just like wheel gamer that wants to just play on a wheel because it's fun. Like these are uh, some, these are pretty intense settings. These are very simulated settings and here on Horizon 4 with not being a full sim sim being an arcade sim I feel it's a little different I mean it takes a takes a minute to get used to but once you get used to it it's it's satisfying because uh, once you can get it and you get it right it's very satisfying uh, when you get it right so did please tell me you saw that that man just turned into me he literally just turned into me I need that man's number I need his insurance. He just wrecked my car. I feel like I'm wrecking my car worse than he is, though. Go down the street, touch the snow a little bit. So, like I said, this is, uh, this does feel good until you do that. <laughs> Did not catch myself on that one. So I'm gonna switch this, the, uh, 
the steering back to normal and uh, for everybody else that is running a wheel that doesn't want to run sim steering. Sim steering is definitely a lot of fun and I'm going to keep myself on there. So on normal steering you have the dampening of Forza that dampens it a little bit but this minimum force feedback so before when it was at 50 it made the wheel feel very heavy on transition but from what I'm noticing when I was on sim it doesn't really feel heavy at all so this may be I would say not that holy grail setting but a very uh, very good setting to mess with because putting it on the opposite end of the scale it does have a huge impact and a big change on um, a big change so I'm definitely uh, impressed with how it changes and I was able to transition there with no problem no really heavy weight feel on the wheel so these are definitely uh, definitely settings that you should try um, I know recently there's been a lot of setting videos out but everybody's trying to find that uh, that holy grail setting in the game and uh, I think this uh, this bit of change is actually a good change so we got a blizzard coming in now so it's making it a uh, a little bit difficult now to see but we're still just ripping through the city I'm gonna run it this way break it transition it I could throw the wheel it doesn't really get heavy and we're able to get in there and get sliding so putting the minimum force feedback back to 100 definitely a good change definitely would recommend doing it giving it a shot because it's definitely uh a setting that uh, I'm finding is working out pretty well. And of course, you know we gotta rip this little roundabout. Bang it off, red line. Why are my front brakes glowing? Uh, I'm not holding the brakes. I mean, I thought I was, but my front brakes were just glowing. Please tell me you saw that. So. Just having a little fun, a little laid back video for today. Some setting changes that I've made thanks to big thank you to um, you know the Forza Hardcore group and all the members in there for giving me the little feedback that they've been giving me. It's uh, definitely made a big difference and uh, I can't, I'm definitely, like I said before, I'm definitely excited to get online and get racing with some of these guys and do some true sim racing. Uh, definitely bringing that content to the channel for sure. Probably get wrecked every so often. Or all the time um, but you know it'll be a definitely a big learning experience for me that guy keeps turning in front of me it'll be definitely a big learning experience for me because the sim the actual full sim racing with against other sim drivers is something I've been wanting to get big into as well as drifting so I am hopefully luck looking to be upgrading the wheel setup soon hopefully changing to a uh, little bit more of an expensive wheel um, hopefully I'll be doing a full Fnatic wheel setup, but that's probably in the future due to uh, funds soon, but it will be worth every penny I spend on it for sure. I'm not going to make that. I thought I could make it. I thought I could be slick. Anybody else knows when you hit a car, they just like stop. So we're going to head over to these little donuts, the little roundabouts. Man, that man right there. Head over to these roundabouts drift them and rip them a little bit before we end this episode off but like I said just a few setting changes that I found are working very well big thank you to them for uh, bringing those out to me and uh, to address some of the other comments about people asking about the wheel rotation it is only a PC thing you cannot see wheel rotation on PC um, it's weird why it's like that but that's just how it is so if you're asking me where your wheel rotation setting is, it's probably because you're on PC. So, just tap. So as always, you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. And uh, if you guys like these uh, videos and you guys want to be part of some open lobbies that I'll be doing here soon, let me know down in the comment section down below. Looking forward to getting some open lobbies, some open cruises, maybe some cruises, some drift events, and stuff like that. Just have a little fun here on Horizon 4. 
I missed my gear. So, like I said, I appreciate all the support from everybody. Appreciate subscriber totals climbing up. So, big thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. I know I did not make a big thank you and a welcome to all the new ones. So, here is a big welcome to all the new subscribers that are subscribed to the channel. Appreciate all every single one of you guys and all your comments and feedback. So, keep it coming. I will keep the videos coming to you guys as well. Keep bringing you more content. Gonna be doing some Forza 7 here very soon. So, as always, until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys in a storefront. Ugh. I'll see you guys next time.